Okay, I'm back to the uh, Oldsmobile headers as you can see. I've ground these down. I've got an angle going so you can do, 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 do. put it in there like that. You'll still have to trim it, but you can pretty much put it through, you know, off the car and then trim off the excess, grind it, cor torch it, whatever. There you go. We'll work in a derby car like that. We had a rat rod or something, I guess. Frame rail car just hanging out. But anyways, so next step is to get on my used bin so I can go up. And that will be the next so there you go. An idea of how to do that. It took a while because I couldn't find the die grinder. So I found the die grinder. And now step two. Okay, and I can see I have on to step two. Uh, I cut the handle off the pressure washer in two and left it intact so I could, uh, I don't have a marker or I don't have a free hand to mark this, but basically you can now shove it in there and that's way too far out, but you get the idea. And then you can mark it. Like I said, since that this, you can shove this in there. You don't have to, but you can shove it in there if you want. You could mark it, you could mark the pipe, use the flange to mark it nice and neat and cut it off. I'm not going to, I'm going to mark it to the length I want. Get it in as tight as I can. Tack weld it on. Take it off. And uh, cut off the excess. There you go, start of one stack. I'm not going to use this piece of course, the only reason being, like, well, it'd make it easier. But the only reason I'm not is because I need all the bins and I want as much material and I got all these nicer pipes that all match because these are all kind of uh, different sizes almost in a way slightly one goes inside the other blah 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 whatever but you see like I said before in case you're new to this series this is not fancy derby headers this is the down and dirty quick as hell could be done in one day I've been taking a break plus I said I lost the die grinder can't tell the garage is clean, but this is clean. Couldn't find the die grinder, so I had to clean up the whole garage just to find the die grinder. There you go. I'm going to mark this. I'll cut it, and I'll try and tack it in there. And I'll let you see how, which direction I'm going, and you'll kind of understand. So on to step three. Okay, as you can see, there's my uh, cut up pressure washer cart, hand truck, whatever. Now let's step on my telling. All I'm going to help you out here is, so once you got your one pipe that you're satisfied with, that it, you know, both, yeah, whatever, that it's, you know, not too close to the head, not too far to the head. I figured out my shortest pipe, so, you know, I wanted to make these as long as possible, which you realize, remember, the pipes over there are going to extend on top of this. So, I figured out with my shortest pipe was going to be so I could cut them all to that so they'll be equal and to lay them out you basically once you get one right as you can see I've cut that end off you just lay it on there match it up and you can see my mark there so I'll cut that and once I got all these cut up and here's a, as you can see and it fits just about inside there so you can see now what the total length of one of the pipes will be and I'll finish cutting the rest of these and I'll tack it up and show you where I'm going at that point. Okay, and here you go. The tacked up end result. They're tacked down here. I haven't done anything up here as you can tell. My tubes are different sizes. I'll have to line them up a little bit better once I go to weld them and get them all the right length. There you go. It almost doesn't look too bad. I'll tilt it forward. We'll see. I don't know what size tubes I got here. They're actually uh, really weird. And are strut pieces to a 280ZX. So the earlier cars had uh, practically homemade <laughs> strut in inserts. You can actually rebuild them, but nobody wants to do that. And they leaked like crazy. So, there you go. Down and dirty. 
demolition zoomies. They look pretty good from that side. Once I get them all cut down length, then I'll weld them up solid. Then I'll actually take them to work and sandblast them. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Nice and straight along there. I went with an inch clearance from whatever this bolt is, because I don't know what it is. So, an inch clearance there gives us some room to tight make our spark plug wires tight. This one's not gonna be an issue. That one's not gonna be an issue. actually none of them are gonna be an issue. They're they're in the big spaces. So, there you go. Do it yourself. Down and dirty. Demolition zoomies. I'll finish off the other side, and later on, after I paint them, I'll give you a preview. Well, probably going to see this motor running once these are done. But anyways, there you go. See ya.